we are, three strange contrasting creatures, all from 2010 again. So what do they all do? I'll show that one last. The first one is this wonderful Beatles one, which I don't think I've ever shown. It's a friend of mine who I meet every year at the New York Toy Fair, who's out of San Francisco, makes small flip books about that size. But just one year, he started something he's never done in the previous 20 years of his business, go into town and really spend about two or three years on the project, getting the Beatles permission, etc., etc., or whoever owns them. And it, this is extraordinary. It's a big flip book, and it shows scenes, very, very iconic scenes from their lives, it's, and, and in flip book form. So the flip book's actually got, as you can see from the color, different colors of the pages, it's actually got about five actual flip book scenes in it. So let's have a go and see how, how best we can produce it. We start off with that, about that angle there, yes. We've got some of that. And we've got some of that. And we've got some of that coming up. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh, yes. oh, that's nice. Oh, that's a nice zoom, or oh, like that. And it's turning as well. That's brilliant. Oh, yes, Sergeant Pepper. That's wonderful. And it ends up, oh, yes, they're walking across the thing. Oh, yes, there we are, walking across. Look at that. Superb. Superb, isn't it? Let's have another go, shall we? Just see if I can get my arms that rest it to me about, about there. I need to pull it back a long way so it does a really big flick actually, like that. There we are. Here we go. Isn't this a wonderful summation of their lives? And it's a huge variety of things they appeared in. Oh my goodness me. So I'm very pleased, my friend, he managed to get the job done. Wonderful. And there's a summation of catalogue of what you've seen. So a wonderful souvenir of the of, of people who love anything to do with Beatles, the, the whole Beatles. I think that's a really, really nice flick book. Very pleased with that. The second one is a very brief one, but it's one of these silly things which I love. It's a, it's one of these cups. Let me get my finger back on again. Which is it? Oh well. Anyway, it's a cup, it's a mug, and of course it's it's Swiss, so when I lift it up, it's going to make a noise. And when I lift it up, what's it going to do? It's going to... <laughs> Cheers! Should be milk, incidentally. Should be milk in there, but it's not much of it left. <laughs> nice one, though. And of course, it's got a little light switch underneath, or something that's sort photo sensitive. The last one is an amazing effect, which um, I showed at the beginning, this one here. Now this is extraordinary. These are thermoplastic pieces, three different sizes, and look at the contrast between what they are when you get them coming out. You've got this thing here, which looks like nothing on earth, particularly. You have to put it in hot water, so you put it under the tap in the sink, and it must be hot, because it's got to open up and soften, but not too much. And if, if the result is this thing here, look at that. That's what comes out of it. Look at this. It's a properly made, fully functional, nicely styled vase, and you stick a, 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 little, a little flower in it. And they come in three sizes. The biggest one is spectacular, frankly. There's a middle size, but the biggest size is this one here. Look at that. That's a large piece. So, again, if we, um, and it's going to be up like that, you put very hot water in it, and then the gravity pushes the thing down and makes it into a complete vase. And this is the result. This is a a big job, it's, it's heavy too. My goodness, I could get a big bouquet in that, I think it is. It's very well made. It bulges very slightly at the bottom, you can feel, but it's very secure because the, the, um, the joins here are made at a much, much higher temperature and they're very secure. And then when you finish with the vase, you want to put it away, you just pack it up gently, put some more hot water in it to, um, to soften it, and then it'll fold back into that size like that. A fold away vase of the best sort. Do you like it? Thank <laughs> you.